So this LCD display is actually being run by an Arduino Uno. So how do we do that? Um, an Arduino Uno definitely does not have enough memory to put a full RGB uh, 8 bit RGB, you know, 800 by 480 frame on, on it or at once, nor have I attached any separate SD card or any so other sort of storage. The magic happens with this driver chip, that's the RA8875. And after watching one of my previous videos where I show a similar uh, 50 inch LCD display, this one's a 40 inch, where I show a similar 51, uh, 15, uh, 50 pin LCD display. It's not a 40 inch, it's a 40 pin one. I showed a 50 pin one. Anyways, let's not get confused. Um, where I showed a similar display being run over HDMI. So it was a simple um, LVDS ish uh, with a flat cable, and you just had a driver like that, and you added an hdmi output to it uh, a lot of you have asked me if there's a way to run that particular form of display on an arduino and there definitely is i am doing it but can you do it uh, it's a bit of a hit or a miss you can you cannot it really depends if you can find this particular module uh, it, this model used to be very common and uh, very well stocked back in the day but recently especially since i've seen uh started looking into it um this was kind of the last one it might even be the last one in my country uh that i got my hands on um because um rao the company that makes these had um has eol them so they aren't being manufactured anymore uh, there are other solutions to get spi um converted and driven to a lcd um uh, you know interface like this one but there's just no pre-built modules that anyone is making there are still hdmi to 40 pin ones they are hdmi to 50 pin ones uh, that people use but um in as i've shown but this is very hard to get and that's the reason this video is very short in principle the way this module works is the uno can send uh, direct pixel data so pixel by pixel or uh, shapes colors the stuff i'm doing right now on this demo or even text and then this particular driver chip has enough memory in it has the buffer required to store all those values and push it and have keep the screen refreshed at a good rate i think it does 30 hertz or 60 hertz i don't remember um but yeah and it drives the backlight has all of those things here to uh bump up the voltages for backlight and um it's it's working fine but again the issue is it's not available uh and i hope you find it somewhere if you do do buy it keep it get an lcd as well you never know when you need one one of those for a project for a one-off project uh, but definitely nothing that you want to you know base your new hardware design on uh plus if this you know if anyone from adafruit or any other vendor um is watching it i'd really love to have something uh, of a replacement for uh, one of these drivers so spi to 50 pin or 40 pin lcd would be awesome even spi to hdmi would be a very interesting or sorry dvi would be a very interesting thing to do um if someone can pull that off and i've sort of been thinking about that and how that all can be possible uh you know an hdmi port on an uno is a will be amazing similar to what folks have done for the pi bico um but on a on a much simpler level uh but anyways sadly on that disappointing note thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one